Next question is from Vicky Lula 18. How much does age influence the ability to make muscle and strength gains? It really depends on the age. It's now, here's the thing. I a lot of the clients that I would train as a trainer tended to be in the age group of I would say 35 to 45, I'd say was a, a good chunk of the people that tend to hire that tended to hire me as a trainer. And when you're between 35 and 45, people like to say, oh my gosh. Uh, because I'm older, my body doesn't respond as fast. It's not that big of a difference in those age groups, at least not in comparison to consistency, good technique, good nutrition. Here's what tends to happen, though. You have more time to accumulate injuries and more time to accumulate poor movement patterns. So the challenge tends to be when I get a 40-year-old, I have to correct a lot of things yeah. before we can really move forward. But straight up, here's the deal. I'm going to tell you something right now uh, that – some of the fittest people I've ever trained in my entire career were people who were over the age of 38. And now it's not because they were at the prime age. I guess you could compare the prime age of, you know, 20 or 25 to that. And you'd see there was probably some advantages, but the reason why people in their forties tended to do so well, they were more wise, they were more consistent with their training and they had the, the wherewithal to know that they should probably work with a professional. Whereas you tend to get a 23 year old who's got all the great, age benefits but doesn't that lacks the wisdom to get any help i know i wouldn't have got help at that age don't you think that this is misunderstood because of all this the studies that point that oh when we get older yeah. you lose muscle oh when you get older hormone levels right. come down hormones drop and so there's tons of, of of research that's around this that and i think that's why this this question comes up a lot i think this is why it's it's so misunderstood because someone will be like wait a second i just read somewhere that it says as you get older you know testosterone levels decrease or yeah. muscle loss happens well, it like, immediately feeds you an excuse. Right. And what, what, what people are understanding is that this is like a, this broad study of, of the average person that just goes through their life, what tends to happen. What you're not taking into consideration is all their habits and behaviors over the course of those those mm -hmm. 20 years. To your point, Sal, like I've, so I've had clients that were in the best shape of their life in their late 50s. Yeah. Um, but that's because their diet and exercise regimen in the late fifties was better than it's ever been in their entire life. Yeah. Yeah. So you just have to keep that into consideration. Now, uh, do I think the older you get, uh, that you've, and, and you've prolonged those good habits, the harder it's going to get. Absolutely. If you take, mm -hmm. if I get somebody who is 30, never exercised, never dieted or tried to eat correct. Right. And they decide to do that at 30 years old. Do I think they have less of a hill to climb than the person who starts at 55? Yeah, of course mm -hmm. they do. But that, it has less to do with their age and more to do with like yeah. for 40 years, they haven't been exercising. They haven't been doing these yeah, things. Yeah. Therefore, hormone levels are down. They've lost muscle over those years. And so they have yeah, a, but, you a greater know, It's uphill. all the lifestyle that led into that. Yes. And, and so it's, it's a matter of like how much do we have to adjust and correct to even get close back to like that – honing in on that that straight path and and so i think like the you know the longer you wait to uh, uh, adjust and to correct a lot of these things that you know you should be doing right you know the harder it's going to be for you to to then make gains but it, you know for me i bought into a lot of the the age thing for a while even as a trainer I was like i don't know if i can you know if my older clients were really going to make like substantial progress other than just maintenance, you know, or just like maintaining their strength. But I had a 70 yeah. year old guy who actually gained muscle and like gained like 10 pounds of lean muscle. And it blew my mind. Yeah. 70 years old and you can still gain muscle, but it was just an all new stimulus, very slow, methodical approach. Eating probably eating better. really well. Great community. He was involved in, he was all in. And, and, you know, and that happened. Yeah, your body never loses the ability to adapt. When it does, you're probably about to die, right? So you're, you can always adapt one way or the other. And yes, adapting in a positive way might get more challenging as you get older. But I, what I find interesting is we tend to focus so much on the negative. Here's the positive that, that I think is great about as you get older. As you get older, if you're consistent with exercise and nutrition, the further you separate yourself from your peers and it becomes not a small difference, a drastic difference. Like if I took 25 year olds that worked out and compared them and ate right and compared them to the average 25 year old, there's a difference, right? There's a bit of a difference between the two. Minimal though. You take a 70 year old yeah. that takes care of themselves and you compare that to a 70 year old that's the average 70 year old, it's 
light years of a difference. It's the difference between one group can completely take care of themselves, have no issues, have no health problems, and the other one is on medications, uh, might have had some chronic health issues, might need assistance to be taken care well, of. Anybody that's listening right now that is 40, north of 40 years old and has lifted and exercised most of their life has already experienced this. Oh, yeah. If you've been, if you've been exercising most of your life and you're already north of 40 years old, you've already watched this happen with your own family and friends. Like you see the... the Maybe when you were in your 20s and you were lifting like that, you didn't look that different or you weren't that separated. You weren't that much more in shape than the most of them or the average amount of them. But man, once you start getting to 30 and then 40 and then 50, that gap just gets get wider and wider it and It gets wider. massive. And also, you know, the hormone stuff and all that, uh, age can influence that. But when all things are equal, age doesn't make as big of a difference, right? So if you have a 45-year-old with healthy hormone levels and compare him to a 30-year-old with healthy hormone levels... There's a smaller difference, not a huge difference. Uh, when you throw all the other factors in, well, of course, then you can see um, some big differences. But my best success has always been uh, with people in that age group, and I think they take it more seriously. They're more likely to take advice. When you're younger, here's what happens when you're younger. Here's a big difference uh, that I'll tell you right now, is that you get away with more because you it's not cumulative. So when you're 25... You can have looser form and screw up a little bit and whatever. When you're 45, you might have done that a few times. Now you're like, I can't screw up anymore because yeah. it's going to hurt really bad. And it's not, I, I was haphazard in my jack 20s. You up. Oh, I mean, when I was in my 20s, I was, you know, cautioned to the wind. I hadn't experienced any major injuries or pain. But after a few times of that, you know, now I'm much more careful and smarter about the way I train. And then here's the other thing nobody talks about <clears throat> if you're consistent, muscle memory is amazing it's so easy for me to maintain a body weight uh mm -hmm. you know over 195 pounds with relatively lean you know with a relatively lean physique you know when i was a younger man it was a struggle it was hard to keep that much muscle yeah. now it's like i can work out a fraction of the time and maintain that so there's also this cumulative effect of a consistent exercise that stays with you and builds with you if you've ever met a 65 year old bodybuilder who's been working out consistently you can see that, man, this person's got a lot of muscles that's just sticking around on their body versus when you're 25 and it's like, you know, you take a few days off or you skip a few meals and it just falls off your body. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here and be sure to subscribe.